face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, you guys, and welcome to another episode of Who Was Really Bitter, where this week we are actually going to cover Reggie Eyes versus Evil Lug. Now, if you remember my previous episode, I did say that we didn't cover the whole Reggie Quartet. And Reggie Eyes is the one, of course, we're facing off at first, and Avalog is most certainly a very, very worthy opponent. Now, Reggie Eyes is a very interesting Pokemon because it went from Generation 3 to be one of the most viable Pokemon in the meta due to its variation of the move pool and stats. But due to Stealth Rocks, it got really, really pushed back. And to this day, actually, is reserving in PU, even though it has a really strong niches, versus Avalog, who is a Pokemon that necessarily isn't all that bad. Quite frankly, it has a lot of things going for it, but they are introduced in the meta where Ice still isn't necessarily a good offensive nor defensive typing if you are slow. And clearly, they both are, which is why their viability is fairly low. However, it doesn't mean necessarily that these Pokemons are bad, and we can actually cover their stats, move pull, and OR and theme to find out how they're used and how they capitalized on, but also which one of these two really are better. Now, before I talk about the Pokemons individually, I do want to cover why a Soul Ice type is a, such a bad concept. First and foremost, I think the graph itself speaks for itself. We have resistance and ice, and that's about it. And while a rare thing to have, it still doesn't help when you reach to Fighting, Fire Rock, and Steel, all of them being very common, and of course one of them being hazard-based. So overall, unfortunately, if you're a slow Ice type, you're in general going to have a rough time, which is why the most successful Ice types usually have a lot of weaknesses but aren't hit in the first place, looking like we me Meanwhile and Sneasel and stuff like that. Even Kyurem and Kyurem Black kind of represents just that. Speed your variant means that you have an easier time. Well, avoiding issues also doesn't help that you know three of these weaknesses also have priorities. So it's worth keeping in mind. So overall, this is the reason ice types as a soul typing is bad. So with that said, let's cover the one introduced first. Beat. So looking at Ridgy Eyes stats, we can see a clear indication that it does peak at one thing really well, has average stats in three stats, and just plummets on two of them. Base HP of 80 is really good to get it with the defensive stats of 100 and special defense at 200. Yeah, this is a very, very tanky Pokemon. It definitely can take a hit and there is really no question about it. The special attack is fair at 100. It really does cover the worst and considered your Ice type, Ice Stab is really good anyway. So having a special attack of 100 really does complement that. That said, we have two Plummet in stand. One matters more than the other. Attack at 50, fair enough whatever um it basically just means that you go into use that special attack stat for better or worse however the speed tier here of 50 really doesn't necessarily help um radiize that much mainly because you're forced to take a hit even in trick room you can be forced to take a hit also so this is definitely not a pokemon i would say are usable in trick room however um since it's forcing you to take a hit it's good to see that radiize has a mixed defensive stance to be able to pull that off I mean, one of the stronger sets with Ray Guys is even Leftovers or Wrestler Chesto. It has a lot to do with that. It's mixed bulk, really does allow it to survive things. Also, um, one thing that I think is really cool is a Saltvis variant because, you know, why not, right? It can. This is one of the few Pokemon that take a super effective Fire Blast and kind of just shrush it off with a photo percent at most, really. So. Stat wise, it's really good. I actually do like Ray Eyes quite a lot due to this very indication alone. However, it comes to abilities, here's where it's a bit of a mixed bag. While Clear Body is definitely good because it nullifies any stat decrease on your Pokemon, such as of course Intimidate, which clearly isn't a factor in the first place, and Stick Wave, of course, not affecting you. However, it's such a rare occurrence in the meta that I wouldn't necessarily say that it helps it all that much. However, Ice Body is even worse. Since, of course, it does recover 1 16th of your HP when it is under hail, so it's not even, you know, the toxic heal where you're not even that, which covers 1 12th. So overall, unfortunately, Red Eyes doesn't necessarily have abilities to complement its typing nor attacking prowess, but at the same time, its stat distribution is very fair, 
and just overall radiates its scary Pokemon. That wise, it definitely shines as unfortunate that it is an ice type in the first place, to be completely honest. But we also have another interesting aspect, and that is its move pool. Because it's a really broad move pool, and for a nice time, it is really good that it gets filler to cover issues. What I need by that is that we have Icy Wing, Charge Beam, Sap Cannon, Asian Power, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Earthquake, which just makes for a fair filler since we don't get access to the likes of Earth Power. However, we have Focus Blast, which works great with C and does resolve possible issues with rock and steel types. Rock Polish to be able to contradict its, um, I would say, below average speed. Uh, Aurora Veil definitely works if you're going to capitalize on Ice Body. Thunder Wave, you can um, instead, in the race your speed, kind of nullify your opponent's one. Frost Breath, no crits and whatnot. Flash Cannon, decent filler. I wouldn't recommend it over, over Focus Blast, but it does get it. Signal Beam, same thing here, just a filler move at best. Block to be able to lock in your opponent. If you can't hit you with enough special attack boost, then you can actually lock them in and rest your chest of them to Jeff to give you like a charge beam and ice beam, which is just super disgusting to face, to be completely honest. And we all gravity, gravity plus C does allow you to hit those sap cannons and also allows you to capitalize on Blizzard. And of course, gravity boosts your speed by one. So it's a fair C move and definitely. Is a niche set to radio ice, but it does make it a threat due to it. Counter is a really good since we have a really, as I stated before, fair bulk. You can capitalize on that and actually retaliate with physical damage onto your opponents. Since that usually is the most effective way of hurting a radio ice. It is also the most effective way for radio ice to hurt you back. Seismic toss, really nothing to it. If you want to be completely bulky, seismic toss does work to a fair filler. And then I fill the moves with Sleep Talk to the rest set as I mentioned and Substitute because it can actually set up Substitute against special offensive threats just because of their really high special attack. But overall, Red Your Eyes is a very decent Pokemon when it comes to its move pool alone. While I do think that it's unfortunate it lacks a lack of Earth Power because of course Ice and Ground is really good, it does really make it very well rounded with the Bolt Beam combination, which deals with most threats actually. The only thing I see it struggling against are, unfortunately, defensive fire types, which just basically can't survive red ice because it hit them, can't necessarily hit them that hard back. Had it had the likes of Surf or Waterfalls, it probably could have pushed the boundaries, but at the same time, it wouldn't have helped it all that much, which is why Earth Power would have been such a tremendous addition to this Pokemon. But overall, it's very easy to see why Regiwise was an OU Pokemon in Generation 3 and why it did fall back once the Special Offensive Split came to get it with the likes of the stab moves being split to Physical and Special, I mean, and then of course Stealth Rock. There are a lot of issues involved with Red Eyes that are factors that it, it wasn't made to face when it was created. And I think this is something that unfortunately Game Freak have missed out on to be able to complement it and actually redesign it in a way that it could work. As it stands today, it's falling behind. It's still a tremendous threat with a really good stats and move pool alone, but it needs something else to work even better. So with that said, we're going to cover, of course, Evil Lug here on next. Now, Avalug has a similar situation to Red Eyes, where it peaks a really, really defined thing, but also kind of plummets in other aspects. And that is, of course, for better or worse. Now, I would say that Avalug is more representative of physical versions of Red Eyes, where we're at 95 in its HP, 117 in its attack. That's pretty scary. That's a lot of damage already. And 184 in its defensive stats. So, yeah. It's, it's tanky, all right. Um, special attack, really low at 44. Special defense, unfortunately, really low at 46. And the speed tier, same issue with Red Eyes, but by far worse. 28 base speed, yeah. It's not going to creep anything. Now, I would recommend creeping the legs of Slowbro in, in you if you want to use Avalon, but at the same time, what's the point? It's, you know, physical defensive, so it doesn't necessarily help. However, as it's straight forward, Avalog is a really strong physical threat and can definitely soak a close combat and retaliate really alright. And just overall, Avalog has the potential to do it really well. It's just a special defensive stat that really pushes it back a little bit. I definitely believe a something mixed defensive bulk to it would have helped it quite a lot. I would definitely like to see 
the Red Your Eyes variant here would have had roughly 100 special defenses, something like that, to be able to capitalize on it. Unfortunately, Avalog usually go with um, Adamant Set or Impish to get it with a lot of investment on special defense to be able to at least soak something because goddamn does it need it. That said, when it comes to abilities, Avalog is kind of like, I would say, a mix between Ridgy Rock and Ridgy Ice. We have Ice Body, same thing here, it does recover HP. I could say that due to its higher speed side, it can, it can work with it better. Doesn't necessarily help it, but it can. Own Tempo, which of course avoids yourself of confusion. Um, unfortunately, we don't get the likes of Outrage or anything like that to be able to capitalize on it, but it does get it. Uh, we also have Sturdy, which I think it's fair for it. Uh, Focus Sash and, um, well, Sturdy is know the same thing so it could be work to have a, as an anti-lead basically but that said though i think it's it's a bit on the slow side to be able to capitalize on something like taunt or anything like that the sense it can set up rocks itself it isn't a pokemon that works really well with sturdy but it has moved to retaliate with it so overall avalog's abilities i would say are better than red eyes but that doesn't necessarily mean anything with neither of them really can capitalize or even become boosted due to their abilities as its own so, Avalog's move pool is something like, I would say, uh, like Red Eyes. First and foremost, we have Sharpen. Uh, the reason I mention Sharpen is because of C Sharpen, which boosts your attack by 2. And that could be quite devastating, quite frankly. We also have Curse. Curse is only there because it can't capitalize on its slow speed. Having 28 base speed means that speed is a non issue anyway, so being able to curse up, boost yourself even further is, well, quite devastating actually. Then, when it comes to the Ice Stab, it has a Three ice stabs are worth mentioning. I don't believe ice beam or blizzard. Well, it clearly got mentioned here anyway, but aren't worth using. However, we have ice fang, ice ball, and avalanche. Ice fang is your best stab move. I would say to some extent it is the most reliable one. However, ice ball of course can plummet and you know keeps on going. First 40, 80, 120, it just keeps on going. However, I don't believe evil like unfortunately has the bulk and stamina to pull that off to be able to just pull a rollout initially on a Pokemon. However, Avalanche is probably its defined stab move to use, since we don't have Ice and Flash, Avalanche is by of course having only 60 base power, does double if you're hit the same turn. And considering that you're bulky and slow in the first play, it's very likely to happen anyway. So Avalanche, kind of fair to be completely honest. Um, definitely a good retaliating move, if anything. 120 base power with already a very high 117 in its base attack really does sting. Even if it is resisted, it still kind of hurts. Uh, Rapid Spin is there, which is really good. I don't necessarily agree with having an Ice type as a Rapid Spinner, but to be able to pull that roll up is quite right, considering that you also have Recover. So basically, we have a Mini Crow in all our hands, and um, it works fairly right as it. Uh, recover does kind of help it quite a lot to be able to, if you're able to soak a hit, to kind of pre-exist in that area of force of taking hits in. We also have Crunch, which works as a fair filler to get it with Earthquake, which is probably the new best filler, mainly because, you know, as already stated, Ice and Ground is a, probably one of the most complete combination in two moves, really. A Stone Edge, fair filler, Jar Ball, same thing there, really. Rock Tomb is there. I don't know why. It, it's, it is not that usable. I mean, it's not really going to creep anything. Anyway, Rock Polish, worst great with weakness policy. Shout out to Weedle. <laughs> <laughs> but quite frankly, Rock Polish is a fair move when I get plus After plus two, you actually creep base 80. And I think that's kind of scary to know that Avalog can actually become speedy also. Uh, barrier, don't. Mirror Code, which is probably the only reason you would capitalize on Sturdy. It is because you want to retaliate with Mirror Code. Uh, definitely, like I said, it works as an anti-lead. And if your opponent is special, then yeah, you're going to be special to him. Um, recover twice? Ha! Huh. Missed that. Block. Same thing as um, Red Icy, really. Block, do kind of force yourself to curse up or even recover stall with Toxic. It works alright for Evil Log. I wouldn't say it works better than it does in Red Ice, but having recover as an option does make things tougher for your opponent. Uh, superpower? Fair filler and definitely for C it's fair filler. Uh, together with the likes of Iron Defense, which is the same as Barrier, boost your defense by two. Is it necessarily that interesting when you have 184 in defense? And of course, the last one would be an Iron Head, but quite frankly, if you're gonna go for Steel, always go for the Jara Ball.
The only thing I really think Evelog is missing is actually Aisha. I do believe Aisha would have resolved what I would say probably one of the its most reliable issue, and that is its speed tier. And since it already a really high attack of 117, Aisha could have been extremely devastating, very much so like Mammoth Swine to be completely honest. It does lack that, and that kind of nerves the Pokemon somewhat, because it definitely means, much like Red Eyes, it is forced to take a hit before it retaliates, which is why Avalanche is such a great option for Evolog due to that very reason alone. So what this matchup boils down to is that they both have similar issues, but can parry different types of Pokemon depending on the matchup. So the both are forced to take a hit, the both are forced to retaliate. However, one can recover, one has a broader move pool to be capitalized on, and one has a better spread on his defensive stat, while the other, as stated, has recovery. So what I'm boiling this down to is which one of these Pokemon are consistently a threat depending on the situation. And here is where things get kind of interesting, because even like due to Rapid Spin has a lot of Utility is option to be covering in a meta Pokemon actually, and definitely in PU and NU, probably not so much in leaks. However, these utilities doesn't necessarily matter because you are an Ice type. As stated before, if you want to go for Rapid Spin, you want to be a reliable Rapid Spin. If you want to have recovery, you want to have a reliable way to recover. Here is where Reggie Eyes kind of shines because while it doesn't have the option to rapid spin nor recover, it has the option to be a threat to soak a hit more reliable in Avalog and be able to retaliate with either a rock polish setup or a C move. As it's a stronger C move option, Reggie Eyes simply becomes better because it has the option to always be better, which is something unfortunately Avalog lack. And I don't think anyone is surprised by this, well, result. Evelog is a Pokemon I would say has the option of becoming really great. It lacks actually only one move that really would have resolved this issue a lot better. Red Eyes, on the other hand, was already a complete Pokemon, is to some extent still that, but has the issues of hazards. And I don't believe that issue is something that Evelog does better. If anything, I'll say that Avalog is more punished to it because its role is usually to actually resolve the issue that is Stealth Rock and of course recover back on. It's very very easy to set up against while Red Eyes can instantly retaliate and has really strong filler moves to be able to just deal with anything that is in its way and with Rock Polish becomes really interesting as a complete Pokemon. So yeah, Red Eyes is really cool. Huh, didn't mean to have a pun there, how about that? Uh, but yeah, definitely leave like I said, I think Red Eyes is better, but I really want to think what you guys think about these Pokemon. Um, I've seen a few options that the Avalog might be, be a better League Pokemon than Red Eyes. I am actually ready to agree on that, mainly because of the Rapid Spin option and, you know, the utilities in mind. But overall, I think Red Eyes is a more consistent threat, and that is why I liked it better here as the winner. So, as always, guys, thank you for, of course, watching. Hope you really enjoyed this episode, and join us next week, where we, on Easter gonna do something that doesn't seem to be that eastery now thinking about it. Enjoy the rock types!